When Zoe Saldana isn't in space, you might find the Guardians of the Galaxy star relaxing in Beverly Hills with her husband Marco Perego and their three sons. It was important for her to create a comfortable space at home that was inspiring for her and her family. Her current residence is a gorgeous colonial revival estate in the star-studded, gated neighborhood of Hidden Valley where apparently no room is off limits to her boys. And they also spend a ton of time gardening. We'll take a look at this multi-million dollar home as well as Zoe's previous Bachelorette Pat and Los Feliz. We even found some of the listings. Zoe Saldana is an American actress who, after performances with the theater group Faces, appeared in a 1999 episode of Law and Order. Her film career began a year later with the movie Center Stage when she portrayed a ballet dancer. Zoe worked mostly in sci fi films beginning in 2009 with her first of multiple appearances in the Star Trek film series and then landed a starring role in Avatar. She also portrays Gamora in the Marvel world my personal fave, beginning with Guardians of the Galaxy in 2012. Due to her appearances in some of the highest grossing films ever, such as Avatar and Avengers Endgame, Zoe is the second highest grossing film actress of all time as of 2019, if you could believe it. Her films gross more than 11 billion worldwide. In 2013, Zoe began dating Italian artist Marco Perego, who would become her husband later that year. They have three sons, twins born in 2014 and the third born in 2017. At the time of this recording, it's estimated that Zoe has accumulated a net worth of about $35 million. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna look at movie star Zoe Saldana and where she calls home with her fam. That includes the beautiful residence she bought in Beverly Hills and the house she used to live prior to that. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Halle Berry and Big Sean and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. First, let's look at Zoe's previous home. Purchased by the actress in October 2006 for just over $1 million, this house is located in the Franklin Hills neighborhood of Los Feliz, Los Angeles. Around the time that Zoe got hitched to Marco, she decided to move on from this place and sell it for $1.15 million. According to listing materials, Zoe kept this home lovingly maintained, and although it was built in 1955, it was updated recently and contemporary in style. Her previous bachelorette pad had a bright open floor plan and spanned 2,800 square feet with four beds and four baths. Certainly enough space for Zoe. There were hardwood floors throughout and the main living area had a fireplace. The living and dining room as well as the sitting room were surrounded by large windows with views into the hills nearby. An updated kitchen here offers high-end appliances as well as a breakfast bar. There were three bedrooms upstairs and one on the lower level. The master suite Zoe used to occupy had a large walk-in closet and ensuite bath with a large soaker tub. There was a set separate entryway on the lower floor of the home, which was perfect for use as an office, gym, or even extra guest suite. Downstairs of her previous home also had a secluded and completely charming indoor-outdoor bonus room that connected to the beautiful redwood deck in the backyard. It seems the house was perfect for the private actress, but not quite right for starting a family, as once she got hitched, it was time for an upgrade. In 2016, it would appear that Zoe had found her dream home. Located in the desirable, guard-gated community of Hidden Valley Beverly, Hills, she now resides in a celeb-filled and posh pocket of Los Angeles. Her neighbors include the likes of Adele and Jennifer Lawrence. By the way, I think we should do a house tour on J-Law soon. Let me know what you guys think. Even Kamora Lee Simmons once lived in this very house, but sold it at a loss back in 2012. Zoe dropped 8.7 million on the place, and it's a colonial revival mansion that's traditional, white, and even has gorgeous pillars. The home has gotten quite a makeover since Kamora lived here. Also called a tennis court estate by the listing, the house was the result of a newly completed restoration by renowned architect Richard Mignon. Zoe's property offers unparalleled privacy, security, and a walled front courtyard gives the home elegant curb appeal. Sitting on half an acre of land moving inside, her home spans 6,332 square feet with six beds and eight baths. Walking in, there's a grand two-story entryway, which is to be expected in any celeb home, and the surrounding spaces are sun-filled and roomy. Designed with the entertainer in mind, the first floor of Zoe's home has a huge family room, which is part traditional living room and part games room with a pool table. There's also a more formal living room nearby. 
Elsewhere on the first floor of the home, there's an additional seating area with an office space, which complements the second floor library. A place which is no doubt a focus for family time with Zoe, Marco, and the kids has got to be the designer kitchen, which has a giant white marble center island, ornate chandelier overhead, and a breakfast room. The island is a perfect spot for the star to seat her children, or for guests to gather while she and her husband whip up a few things in the large space. There are also multiple restaurant quality refrigerators and appliances which are both stainless steel and with glass doors, as well as a giant chef's oven. Upstairs in Zoe's home, you'll find the majority of bedrooms, as well as some other special features. The master suite is spacious and serene with dark wood floors, large windows and French doors, as well as a cozy fireplace and sitting area. It also has an office nook and the master bath is understated and classic with the best of materials. There's a luxurious large shower, separate bath, marble flooring and a dual vanity. But maybe even even more impressive is the celebrity style walk-in closets. The his and hers closets the couple have offer more than enough space for all of Zoe's red carpet duds and Marco's favorite suede Chelsea boots, hats, and suits. Zoe's new closet is the size of a giant bedroom, if not larger, with custom shoe, handbag, and even ball gown space, as well as a seated dressing area and mirrored vanity. Two additional bedrooms are also upstairs with another suite on the third floor. Two final rooms could be used as a maid's quarters or guest spaces since they have a private entry. These days with Zoe and Marco having three sons, perhaps these days they're utilizing space for a nanny. Zoe's home also has a library, media room, and home gym, which even has a Pilates reformer machine by the looks of it. Perfect for the fitness loving actress. While inside is perfect for entertaining, so is the outdoor area, offering a regulation championship tennis court among other amenities. The property has a swimming pool, rose gardens, and an outdoor barbecue with fireplace and seating areas. While the lot isn't as big as you might expect, careful design has ensured the space was well utilized and left room for manicured lawns and wraparound gardens, with hedges to add more privacy. In a more recent interview with Architectural Digest, Zoe also revealed that her home, although colonial architecture, is designed as Italian 60s modern style inside. She also says they have a family garden she takes pride in where they grow some food. Not to mention, Zoe made sure that her home was designed with three young sons in mind. She explained, I wanted to make sure that in addition to everything being beautiful and affordable and super artistic, I wanted it to be child safe. I have three boys and they're always going to be jumping, ripping, and biting. I also wanted it to be durable. Well, I'm sure their sons appreciate that, or at least they'll learn to appreciate the beautiful home when they're older. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to check out where actress Zoe Saldana calls home like her previous bachelor at Pat and Los Feliz and her current residence in Beverly Hills. So what did you guys think? You guys can raise Zoe's houses in the comments down below or pick which one of the two you liked better. I love to hear from you guys, so go ahead. I'd probably rate the first house a 7 because it was still pretty spacious but was missing a pool. And her second house, well that's a 9.5 just because. I also recently did a house tour of my place on my personal channel and while I also don't have a pool and I gotta say it's just a little bit smaller, I still love if you guys checked it out. So I'll link you to my latest video and please like and subscribe to my personal channel. This is it, we're all moved in. Clearly it looks like I'm already living here. And this apartment didn't actually come with an island, the old kitchen did. So I had to order one, but I'm absolutely in love with this one. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is up next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.